five days. 321 delegates in person and over 100 others virtually participated in the 14th Air Services Negotiation Conference in Nigeria's capital city, Abuja. The conference focused on measures that will help rebuild Africa's aviation industry and her nurse the huge benefits a liberalized aviation industry will accrue to the African continent. We would further strengthen our resolve to implement the single African air transport market system. And this is in the spirit of the EU Agenda 2063, to which we are very proud will integrate Africa and connect its people, its future, and its fortune. I wish to assure you that ICAO will contribute and collaborate and work closely with its member states in realizing the objectives of ICAO long-term vision for international air transport liberalization. We will continue to provide practical solutions emerging regulatory challenges of the global importance that are needed for the modernization, harmonization, and convergence of regulatory approaches. The aviation industry in Nigeria is underperforming uh, considering the number of passengers to the population of the country, 80 million, a country of uh, 220 million. That means less than 10% of Nigerians travel by air. You can imagine the economy that created, if we can raise that figure from 80 million to 30 million to 35 billion significant contribution to the initial economy, uh, a significant increase in the uh, number of jobs that will be created. Among the agreements reached include direct flights to Seychelles and some other Latin American countries to promote better air connectivity in the regions. The people of Seychelles and Nigeria expect direct flights from our two countries after we signed a bilateral air service agreement earlier this week. Yes, we met with several countries to further consolidate our arrangements and strive harder to promote better air connectivity. We have signed all, all uh, six MOUs with African countries like your country, Nigeria also, Ghana, Rwanda, Tanzania, Ethiopia. So I'm very glad that we are unlocking our continents. Opportunities given by this ICANN 2022 is for countries to negotiate how air services would be conducted in each of the countries. And that gives you the opportunity to connect. I therefore would like to reiterate the importance of implementing the agreements and arrangements concluded this week with the support of effective regulatory practices and good governance. Director General of the National Civil Aviation Authority speaks on efforts of the Nigerian government to resolve issues with the United Kingdom on direct flights from Nigeria. I met with the uh, director general of Discuss, and they've issued, uh, I think one of the airlines is almost at the point if they not received their TCO, and the other airline, uh, APS, has, has, have had access to their portal, and they've submitted, just completed submitting uh, their, their application, which we will follow up with the British authorities to ensure that is. Uh, uh, issued within the shortest time possible. The consensus at the conference is that growth in the aviation sector can only be achieved if all countries work together towards providing radical solutions to air connectivity. Georgina Mbukwe Zainka, Arise News.